Hello everyone, welcome to the Boat Project episode 1. Uh, so we bought a rotten Micro Plus 501 Explorer to renovate into a family outing machine and plastic recovery vessel uh, to save some local wildlife from getting caught up in all the crap. After looking online for days, I found something close enough that I was able to haggle down to a price in my budget. When we arrived, the boat looked quite rough. Uh, the seller said it floats and to be fair it would, however there was some severe rot in the subfloor and transom which had weakened the fiberglass in the hull. Once we got the boat back home it was time to strip the whole thing down to bare plastic, discover all the issues and approach them one by one until she was perfect. The first and biggest issue was the spongy floor. A common feature in these old GRP boats where the bolster core has been exposed to the elements and reacted like a sponge. Years later the bolster is now basically compost and it's got to come out. Have a quick peek at the interior. The steering and control systems that came with the boat work. It's all been upgraded from the original stuff that was on the boat, but it's been set up and kept poorly. So all this needs to be reconditioned, removed and set aside while the boat gets sanded down. Came with a big fuel tank, it's nice that the bilge outlet's already installed. And then wow, looking right at the back, you see the transom hole, it's basically filled with compost. Uh, there's nothing solid in there, uh, so that's all got to come out and get replaced. Onto the Johnson 15 HP Seahorse, looking super rough, but can't wait to recondition it with a decent paint job and some new vinyls. And uh, yeah, back onto the subfloor. Some of these repairs were recent, as I can still smell the epoxy. Uh, however, the materials and process used to fix it just made the problem worse. The original layer had delaminated. Someone used foam to fill it. Nobody sanded back the old material to uh, get a mechanical bond. It's basically just a sunken boat waiting to happen. So moving on to the other side, it's pretty much the same again. Time for a whole new floor. While you're watching me chop this up, let's go over my aims for this whole project. So number one, renovate the boat cost effectively so the boat is worth more than what I paid and put into it. Two, for the boat's hull and structure to be stronger than the original manufacturer. Three, to restore as much of the exterior back to its original condition and upgrade the interior to a high modern finish. Four, to make the boat as environmentally friendly as possible. Five, to make sure the boat is enjoyable, comfortable and safe enough for two adults and three small children. So each of these aims provides its own unique challenges which I will cover throughout the series.
So that's one section cut back and revealed, and I can tell there is a lot more rotten wood underneath the fiberglass. I needed a break from the floor, so me and my wife Chelsea decide to winterize and remove the outboard. This seems okay and runs well, just needs a good service. So here's a quick look around before I remove the motor, fuel tank, steering and controls. And here she is with all the gear removed. Is the motor sat in a warm corner for winter? So back to the floor. I found another issue. The old seating was screwed directly into the subfloor. And where the boat's been sat uncovered for years, it's leaked water in around all the edges of the boat. My guess is the whole border of the boat has got rotten wood. Yep, I was right. Rotten all around the edge. I took another break from the floor to check out the original boat colour. First sanded back the old paint to get to the gel coat and then smoothed it down using different grits of sandpaper to make it shiny. It is very orange and I love it. Back to the floor. After using an angle grinder and oscillating multi-tool to cut the glass and wood back, I can see rotten wood and it just keeps going around the edge. It's been hard work but I am glad I have dug into it this far. I uh, just want to give a special thanks to everybody on the Micro Plus Facebook page for their advice and support so far. Uh, and a special thanks to Boatworks Today. Your channel has helped me get so far so quickly. Thanks for watching and Happy New Year's.